I'm not going to be too nice on you. This is not going to be me saying, oh, yeah, you can do it. Yes, absolutely, you can do it. But I'm going to get a little bit annoyed. Do it. You have to spend every day very wisely. And if you found that yesterday you didn't spend it very wisely, do not get annoyed about the fact that you spent yesterday not very wisely and that therefore you should spend today being lazy. If you actually found yourself being lazy yesterday, you better kick yourself in gear today. And if it happens two days in a row, then seriously, there's a term for this. It is called Markov. And if people know this in statistics, I do have a video on it. The Markov rule states that basically whatever happened in the past is not relevant. The only thing that happened, the only thing that is relevant is what is current. What is current right now is that you can be working and that you are able to pick yourself up in the emotional, I can't do this, I can't do this moments. And yes, you will have those. I have had those too. Everyone has had those. You need to pick yourself up, live in a Markov world and say, that was before. Now, the current is that I need to do work right now. And again, I will say it over and over again. If you find that right now you didn't, whatever, just work. Tomorrow is a new day. And often I say in the middle of the day, I get really annoyed with working and I might work the next day. I might say the, the thing I can do is go to sleep very frustrated, but knowing that very early in the morning, whenever I wake up, I will be ready to do something. So this is how to learn data science. I'm not giving you this. I mean, I do have a video on a roadmap of what to learn, but in general, the way to keep learning data science is just to keep learning data science and do not give up. It will take probably over a year until you grasp most of the concepts. Something like linear regression might come, you know, won't take too long, but you have to see that it's this basic it's supervised learning, which is a huge field, is all pretty much, you know, the same thing. It's all just learning parameters, super like linear regression is just, you know, learning a beta naught and a beta one. That's all a neural network does through gradient descent. That's just an algorithm, which if you really want to analyze these things, yes, go back to the beginning where I said, learn calculus, learn linear algebra. But do you have to actually understand all of those things? Well, it's a difficult question, but to answer it, honestly, yeah, <laughs> actually, you should learn a lot of it. Watch the data science video that I have on my roadmap. That'll give you a really good idea as to what to do. But in general, you should know what calculus is, know how to take a derivative. You should know what linear algebra is, know what a vector is, what a matrix is, matrix multiplication. You should know probability. Probably a normal distribution would be really helpful and just what a random variable is. You should understand, be really good at programming. A lot of data scientists think that you know, it's just you mostly know math and then you're like a decent programmer. You have to be a really, really good programmer. Seriously, like you, you, you should be anyway. You should understand web development concepts a little bit. At least request through, request through JSON. Uh, user interfaces, absolutely when to use what data structures and algorithms will come up constantly. You should probably do a bunch of lead code problems to just get better at coding in a particular language. And maybe you could do it in multiple languages. So you get a feel for the underlying mathematical concept rather than just particular programming language. So another piece of advice for anyone learning data science is just learn one algorithm really well before moving on to the next one. So a lot of people think that you should just pick up, like learn what this algorithm is in like five minutes. And this is not a bad idea. This is totally okay. But the problem is you would like look up what a random forest is be like, all right, that kind of makes sense. Then you'd look up what a neural network is and that kind of makes sense. And yes, you are learning. It's great. I very much appreciate that and value that. But you need to learn something really well so that it actually sticks with you. Because I remember when I was like just a couple of years ago, I kept looking up what the term re regression was. And by the way, if you don't know, it is as simple as trying to predict a continuous value. So say 7.2, 4.9, whatever it is, you're trying to predict a continuous value. I had to look up the term regression like 10 times on several different days, because what I would do is look at it, learn it, say like, okay, uh, this is what regression is. 
in five minutes and then not touch it for two weeks. And then I would totally forget what it is. So to really understand something, you have to look at it, under, know that you understand it really well. Be like, okay, linear regression, and I, I like picking this example, you will hear me talk a lot about it because supervised learning, as I said, is basically just a complicated linear regression. It's not linear, but it's a complicated, the same concept. You're learning parameters. And so pick something like linear regression, say, okay, I have to figure out a beta naught and a beta one. The beta naught represents this intercept. The beta one represents the slope. And okay, my I can draw a prediction function here. And it's only valid between this range of input and it's for continuous inputs or outputs. So if you have a binary variable, it's not gonna work. You would need something like logistic regression. So then you would learn logistic regression really well and say, okay, well, now that I understand linear regression, this is gonna be really easy. But if you jumped straight from kind of understanding linear regression to logistic regression, well, that's gonna be really tough because logistic regression basically is linear regression but you're just applying a certain function, okay? And then when you go to learn neural networks, if the same thing happens, if you jump through linear regression and logist logistic regression very quickly, you won't see the fact that a neural network is really kind of just a bunch of logistic regressions. So it's nonlinear because it's applying an exponential function a bunch of different times. And deep learning is just as simple as a multi-layer that's why there's a term multi-layer perceptron, a multi-layer neural network, because it's deep. It is deep in a network. It is multiple layers and passing through. And it stretches as far in this way to the very end. Everything branches on itself in data science. And so that's why, yes, I absolutely do recommend learn calculus, because then you'll learn gradient descent and how neural networks train very easily. But you should start ground up i truly i truly think that you should start ground up every single piece of learning you do is useful and if anybody attacks me in the comments saying like uh, i learned top down i learned what a neural network is before i started learning reg regression great that's totally totally acceptable and i'm sure it'll work but my true advice to really really understanding this stuff is to pick something preferably at the bottom of the food chain, so like calculus, linear algebra, I understand that really well. Move on to an algorithm, like simple linear regression. I understand that really well. It goes all the way to the very end, where today a research paper is published basically every day in deep learning, probably multiple a day in deep learning, where all of this stuff will actually kind of make sense if you've learned all the stuff prior. I spent a couple weeks once, about a week once, reading through all of the convolutional neural network papers. So it started with Lynette in 98, and then Alex Stent in 2012, I think, and like VGG in 2014, 15, something like that. So all that stuff made sense to me at that time, because I knew what a convolutional neural network is. By the way, if you don't know what this is, it is just basically a neural network that is good at analyzing picture and video data, because there's a, a spatial ax, uh, aspect to it. And all of this stuff made sense to me because I've learned all the stuff before. So my advice to any data scientist that's learning in this field is absolutely start near the bottom, learn this really well, learn this really well, learn this really well, you will get there. Now, the problem is that somewhere in the middle, maybe even right at the beginning, you're going to get very... Barry, you're going to get very frustrated by the fact that you don't understand something and that's going to make you want to move on. You will get, say, three minutes into a seven minute video and say, um, yeah, that make, yeah, this makes sense. I'm going to go to the next one when very well you know that the you lost it at about the two minute mark and you were very scared to read through the next five minutes because you people don't like facing challenges and your instinct is to move on and say that you understand something when you really don't. So do not move on unless you really do. I am going to advertise that I have many courses at the bottom. So lots of Coursera material, which I am not saying this for the purpose of an advertisement to get money out of it. I am saying that 
if you start something, you better finish it. So yes, they offer a seven day free trial, but if you start it, it is just not a good use of your time to use that seven days, unless you like got the whole thing done. And if you did, that's great. Like that's, that's totally awesome. But if you got stuck on a couple of days worth and there's so much more material left, I really highly recommend you stick it out. Like it's just, it's the worst thing is when you put time into something that doesn't pay off like today. Quite honestly, I, I am in my fourth year of statistics right now, and I spent like three hours doing some mani manipulation in algebra that got absolutely nowhere. And I got really pissed off about it. So that's actually why I'm making this video. Now, the reason I got pissed off is because I didn't get anywhere. It's not because I'm like worried about failing or getting a bad mark. I'm not going to do that. It's the worst, worst thing is when you put effort into something and nothing comes out of it. And something like an algebraic manipulation, that's going to happen sometimes. Of course, you can still say I got something out of it. Didn't get that much out of it. I'm saying this and bugging you with this because I'm illustrating the fact that even I and everybody else does still today, when you don't understand something, your instinct is to just give up and move on and say that you know something. Stick with it. It will pay off. Just learn it. Just figure it out. Unless you really don't think it's worth your time or, and I've said this before, but it's extremely important. If you think the material is something that, you know, you you don't like the author's work or you don't like the the video, you don't, you don't like the style of it, then turn it off and learn, some, learn a different way. Like there's so much material to just watch it. Like just, just find something else. Turn it off. Find an article. Find a video. Find a book. There's no excuse where I, I find this. A lot of people are telling me these things where it's like, oh, uh, I didn't like this material. So I started learning something, something else. But they mean a different concept. Like they don't, they don't mean like I had trouble learning linear regression from this book. So I learned linear regression from a video. People say like I had trouble learning linear regression from this video. Therefore, I started learning programming from this course. I'm like, sure, you can. That's totally fine. But pick something and learn it, please. Like it actually frustrates me that people just give up on this. And of course I do too. Like I totally, totally understand. But not something I would recommend anyway. I don't know. If you like the video, please drop a comment down below, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. I like talking to you guys. I want to hear what you have to say. So, you know, let me know. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.